Hey guys, it's Joyce here with FreshStartWithJoyce.com and today is the first episode of Fresh Start With Joyce. I can't believe that the season is finally starting. I've been working so hard on this behind the scenes, guys, and I'm so excited to bring this show to you. Let's get started right now. I just wanted to give you um, an intro to what you can expect on Fresh Start with Joyce. So now what I'm doing with Fresh Start with Joyce is taking you behind the scenes and showing you my journey in my life right now, where my spiritual guidance is and my pathway with that, um, how I'm learning to do Tai Chi and how that's impacted my life and share some books with you that I'm reading and the foods that I'm eating, why I'm eating those foods. It's like there's another level of Joyce now. It's like I went from um, having body image issues and self-esteem issues to coming into my own and appreciating who I am and loving the skin that I am in and the spirit that lives inside of me and allowing that to grow and expand and appreciating truly Joyce for who she really is. Yes, I'm speaking of myself in the third person. <laughs> but it's, um, it's all about the evolution of Joyce and I feel like if I share my journey with you, then possibly it will encourage you to embrace yourself, to love yourself truly from the inside out, to help your mind to be in a clearer place. And I promise you, so it's not like I've arrived or that I'm totally enlightened. It's just that this path where I am now is just another level, another evolution of who I am. So the breakdown of Fresh Start with Joyce is this. The first thing is just be healthy, right? Don't worry about being skinny and getting into some tight dress. Just be healthy, you know, go to the park with your kid and be able to walk around without getting winded. Go on a walk um, with your love and, you know, enjoy that time because you're healthy and you're happy. The second thing is be happy, right? In life, I have found that happiness is truly an internal job. I've looked for happiness outside of myself for years and I always come up with the same result. It ain't out there. <laughs> it is not out there. Happiness lives in you. You have to go inside and bring it out. And let me tell you something, when you're healthy and when you're happy, it attracts like amazing things to your life, like moth to a flame, right? Um, along my journey coming into my own with mindset stuff and body image and now to this new evolution of joys, it's like, you know, you attract the love of your life. You attract uh, the friends that will support you and help to champion you. You attract uh, more health. You attract anything, abundance, whatever that you need. Once your energy levels begin to raise and your mindset begins to shift and clear, you attract all the wonderful things into your life and you become whole within yourself. And so that leads me to the final thing, number three, which is live a delicious life. I've tried the alternative to life and guys, it sucks, right? Being insecure, being unhappy, not being um, in love with yourself, in love with spirit, you know, being in tune with all the stuff that's in here, getting rid of all the gunk, the gunky stuff that hides right here that you think nobody else knows about, but it's like showing up on the outside, get it out of your gut and fill and pour into yourself positive energy. It is amazing and that is the delicious life. When you can look at your life and say, this is so good and yummy. <laughs> My life is delicious and I love it, you know? That's what my, my dream is for myself and my dream is for you. Hey guys, recently I was at the local farmer's market in my neighborhood and I was actually able to catch some of the most beautiful, vibrant, fresh veggies and fruits that I've seen in a very long time. I got a quick interview with one of the local vendors and I want to share it with you right now. So I'm here with, uh, what's the name of your farm? Priyapi Gardens. Priyapi Gardens and it's all organic, natural, fresh veggies and fruits and um, so I'm here with Caitlin and she's going to tell me all about the organic fruits and veggies that we have up here. I just got some amazing fresh delicious shiitake mushrooms which are great with a nice cashew alfredo sauce if you're doing the vegan thing. So yummy. And I got some, what are these like? Um, beet tomatoes? Okay, so the beet, big beefy tomatoes. <laughs> And then I got these delicious strawberries. Guys, look at how beautiful these are. The difference between the GMO kind that you see and the organic, you'll notice that they're a little bit smaller. And you'll also notice they have a nice, beautiful shine on them. Not like that waxy shine that you normally get, but a nice, pretty natural shine, right? Yeah. So where are you guys located? We are in Cecil Tamara. In Cecil Tamara. 
Maryland. All right, and so with the organic farming, like, do you guys have watermelon and cantaloupe? Like, is it seasonal? How do you do it? Yeah, we do a lot of vegetables. Um, we do a lot of leafy things. We do kale. Um, we do carrots all year round, actually. We cover them up in the winter with a tarp so that they stay warm enough. Nice. But then it actually makes them a lot sweeter because they put more energy towards the fruit instead of the leaves themselves. And um, then over winter, we actually do have greenhouses and high tunnels. So we grow all stuff here. That's amazing. So you may not be here by Priyapi Gardens, but you definitely will probably have an organic farmer nearby, yes. like a co-op or something like that. Guys, in the summertime, that's the best time to get the fresh fruits and veggies and make some really delicious recipes at home for the family. So go visit your local co-op or your local organic farmer. I guarantee you will not regret it. The taste is like amazing, right? It is. Yeah, okay. it's a lot better. So you guys have recipes out here? Bring up, we don't have them today. I'm sorry. Freshstarwithjoyce.com. All right. It was so nice to meet you. You too. Thank you so much for my goodies. Now it's time to break a sweat with the best medicine ball workout. Today's workout is all about medicine ball toning. I'm going to show you with one simple piece of equipment how you can tone up your whole body in just under 24 minutes. We're going to get into this workout right now. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do some push-ups. We're going to take the medicine ball and it's going to be right at your side here. You're going to come down to your knees and you want to make sure that you have like your hand right on top of the ball. You want to come down and push. Just like that. And we'll get 10 on each side. Next up, our medicine ball swing. So we're going to take our feet, kind of like point it out, and take the ball down and push to the ceiling. So the key here is to push your hips forward, give it a nice pelvic thrust, and that's going to give you more core, give you more power on the swing up. And we'll do this for a minute. All right, so next we're going to work on the back of the arms, right? We want to be nice and home when we go to the beach or wear a sundress or want to look good naked. <laughs> so we're going to turn to the side for this one. I'll show you. You're going to take the medicine ball straight up, drop it back behind your head, and push up. Just like that. Focusing on the back of the arms. And you want to keep your elbows in tucked tight, close to your head. Nice and beautiful form. Keep your abs nice and tight. Just like that. Alright, so next up we're going to hit plie. So toes are going to go out at a nice diagonal, nice and wide. Definitely wider than hip width apart. You're just going to hold the medicine ball down here and drop down and push up. Now, my mom used to say, when I was a cheerleader, pitch a penny, right? So when you go down, relax. As you come up, draw your thighs in and squeeze your booty, all right? That's what pinch a penny means. Shout out to my mom. Hi, mama. And squeeze. Good. Now, this next one can be tricky. This is going to be toe taps. If you've ever watched soccer players, you see them tapping on the ball. We're going to do that here. Now, warning. If you're not good at it, there is an alternative. I don't want you hurting yourself, okay? So don't try to keep up with me. So, toes here, you just tap it. Keep your eye definitely on the ball. And if you can't do that, just tap. If you don't feel safe, because I don't want you to hurt yourself, okay? Nice and easy. But if you can do the job, do the job. All right, so finally, we're going to do some sit-ups with a twist. You know I had to put some abs in there, right? So we're going to come down. I'm going to go up for the sit-up. Give it a twist. Twist. Back down. Up. Twist. Twist. And down. All right, guys, that's it for this routine. So it's six exercises. We're going to do one minute each. Um, and we'll do it for four rounds, which totals 24 minutes. Um, and it's going to be super easy and super awesome. You're going to really feel it. I just did this yesterday, the full routine, and my arms and shoulders are on fire. So I hope you love this workout, and I'll see you soon. All right, guys, that's it for today's show. I had such a great time. I hope you did too. This is only the beginning of so many great things to come. And always remember, we are on this journey together, you and I, and it's all about being healthy, being happy, and living the most delicious life that you can. To make sure you don't miss one single episode of this season of Fresh Start with Joyce, there's a subscribe button somewhere on this page. Make sure you click on it. Tell your friends, tell your family, tell everybody to come check out Fresh Start with Joyce. 
and be a subscriber. And if you have any comments or questions or if you want to see something special on the show, leave a comment below. I do read them and I do respond. I love you guys more than you will ever, ever know. Thank you so much for all of your support, all of your love, and for being here with me on this journey. I'll see you in the next show. Bye. Mwah.